Hey everyone, uh, I wanted to show you a few screen mirroring applications that you can use uh, to do demos, for instance. Um, I give presentations often, so this is kind of how I work. Um, now I'm first going to start with Android, and there's an application that I installed called MobaZen. So if I uh, show you this, uh, you can read the full blog post for this. Uh, but if you go to uh, MobaZen.com, this is where you register and you download their application. And you download the PC version, that's the important part. They have a web version, but I don't really like it. Uh, the, the MobaZen PC version is very nice, and you install the app from the Google Play Store and you're good to go. Uh, so now what I'll do is I'll launch this application here. Uh, and I've already installed the latest version, it's really nice. Uh, they've integrated the two together. Um, they're a PC and web version, so I'll log in and you have to have a password as well, so there we go. And I've already launched it on my um, Android device. It's an older Galaxy Nexus, so it's an older phone. But it gives you the skin correctly if it has it for the device. You can go into full screen mode. Um, I'm interacting it here from my desktop. I can launch an application. Uh, and it does a fairly, fairly good job of being responsive. Uh, here, as we can see, you can kind of scroll through it on my phone. And we get a pretty good overview. Uh, and that's nice. You can also go into... Um, the settings, we can drop this down and there's options such as screen recording, recording, snapshotting, and a bunch of different settings as well, which is very nice. All right, now on the Windows Phone side of things, um, I've installed this application called Project My Screen. It's from Microsoft and I'm running, I have a, just like my Android device, it's plugged in with the USB. My Windows Phone device is also plugged in with USB. So I'm going to launch this application. It comes up in huge full screen mode, but I'm going to hit escape out of it. Now, on this side of things, um, nothing is on my screen currently. On my Windows Phone device that you can't see, it popped up a, a message box that said, would you like to allow screen projection? And I'll say yes. And it'll automatically show my screen. I can also, again, interact with it right here um, and launch applications either from the phone or from the desktop, which is really nice. Now, I'm inside of a VM on a Mac. Uh, so if I was on a normal PC, just a standalone PC, I could launch an app called Reflector and it would go ahead and use, uh, um, for iOS, do the reflection over here inside of the actual PC. Now, since I'm on the Mac um, and inside of VMware, it's not going to work correctly. Uh, but what I can do is actually launch Reflector app on my Mac. So if we look at my top bar, I have a, um, I can do a preferences. I can pull up this message box here. So I'm going to reflect my iOS device to my actual Mac, but it's going to run on top of VMware, so it's not really a problem, right? So I'm going to go ahead and launch this here. And you can give it a password and do a bunch of other things as well. We'll go ahead and close this here. All right, so here we go. So we can see I'm mirroring to my MacBook Pro. I'll move this over here, and I'll close it down. Now, if I right-click on it, if I go up to my device, I can change... The different frames, this is on an iPod Touch currently. I can start recording, so I can actually record the screen in four different modes. I can scale it um, as well. But this gives me a really nice one-to-one -one almost of the device with all the different properties on it. I can launch into RDO or something like that. Um, and it's very convenient to actually go through and see everything that's going on here. So I guess it gives me a nice one-to-one. -one. And at the same time, it gives me all of the devices on my screen projecting at the same time. Now, if I was on an actual PC, like I said, um, I wouldn't have to launch Reflector on the Mac. i just launch it right on the PC, and everything would be running right there. So it's very convenient, and I hope that this helps out everyone that's giving demos. Uh, if you're giving a presentation, uh, it's a great way to screen mirror and debug on the actual devices and show off the power. That's going to be the best over a simulator or emulator.